In 2022, Formula One introduced new rules designed to make racing closer and more exciting. Hooray! It was a massive shift from the regulations of old, and it meant the teams basically had to start from scratch with their designs. It's why Mercedes, the eight-time in a row constructors' champions, went from dominating the sport to scoring a single miserable win in the whole of 2022. And it's also why commentators around the globe repeatedly talked about something called porpoising. Welcome back to our channel, and today we are diving into the world of F1 and answering the burning question, what is porpoising? In the simplest terms, porpoising is an aerodynamic phenomenon that F1 cars began to suffer from after the adoption of the so-called ground effect philosophy. This philosophy means that instead of creating downforce by pushing air over the top of the car, the air is sucked underneath the car, pulling it down onto the track at high speeds. But here's the catch. The faster the car goes, the stronger the suction force. If the car gets too close to the ground, the airflow can stall, causing a sudden drop in downforce. And when the car's floor is clear of the ground, the airflow kicks in again, creating an aggressive bouncing motion. That's porpoising. So why is it called porpoising? Well, it's named after the sea-dwelling mammal, the porpoise. Just like a porpoise bobs up and down on the ocean surface, F1 cars experience a similar bouncing effect. But what causes porpoising? The new F1 rules were designed to reduce the turbulent air created by the cars, allowing them to follow each other more closely. By reducing the turbulence, cars lose less performance when running close to each other. To compensate for this, they generate downforce through ground effect using tunnels underneath the cars. The flow of air through these tunnels creates a suction force, giving us the incredible speed we all want to see. However, porpoising occurs when teams can't fully control what the downforce does to the airflow under their cars. So how can teams stop porpoising? Well, raising the ride height of the car can help, but it's not that simple. By raising the car higher off the ground, teams create less downforce, which means slower lap times and fewer points. And in F1, every point matters. Porpoising can be dangerous too. Some drivers, like Lewis Hamilton, have experienced near loss of control during high-speed corners due to extreme bouncing. It became a safety concern. In response to the safety risks, the FIA stepped in and imposed limits on bouncing monitored by accelerometers in each car. Teams breaching the limits were forced to raise their ride heights or face exclusion on safety grounds. Different teams have come up with their own solutions to combat porpoising. Some have adjusted suspension settings to better control the bouncing motion, while others have fine-tuned their aerodynamics to optimize airflow and reduce the negative effects. Additionally, advancements in computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, and wind tunnel testing have allowed teams to simulate and analyze the airflow under the car, helping them understand and mitigate porpoising more effectively. So, Porpoising may have caused some challenges for teams in the 2022 season, but it also pushed them to innovate and find new solutions. It's all part of the never-ending quest for speed, performance, and safety in Formula One. The FIA also added a few required safety updates for the 2023 season. The floor edges have been raised by 15 millimeters, the diffuser throat height has been raised, the diffuser edge stiffness has been increased, and an additional sensor has been mandated to monitor porpoising. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed diving into the world of porpoising and understanding the aerodynamic complexities in F1. If you found this video informative or fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling F1 content. As always, stay tuned for the latest updates from the world of Formula One. And until next time, keep your engines revving and your spirits high. See you soon!